So, I'm a night instructor. Do you also want to be one? Well, there are different ways of becoming an IT instructor. One is just to create your own content and record the training, do some video editings and submit it through online trading platforms such as Udemy. Another way is to sell a custom training and deliver it live. It can be remote or a classroom environment. Both options are okay, but considered unofficial. Another option is the most prestigious one become a certified IT instructor. In this video, we're gonna talk about the best IT instructor certification, CCSI. Give a thumbs up if you agree with me. Also give me a thumbs up if you don't. We're gonna discuss everything about CCSI, the very first IT certification. We're gonna talk about the what, the why, the when, the how, and the how much which is, I know you're very intrigued. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada. I've been a certified instructor for over 10 years in Cisco, F5, and Arista. I also deliver open source technologies such as Python, containers, and security. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, previous and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. What is a CCSI? Let's compare first the three types of Cisco instructors. First, we have the independent instructors. These are the instructors who deliver Cisco courses with training organization that is not affiliated to Cisco, also known as gray market. Trainer has no license nor an instructor certificate. They customize the course material and lab guide. Nothing wrong with this, it's just that normally they don't have a standard course curriculum. Are they good? It really varies on the organization and trainer's knowledge and expertise. But one of the disadvantages of this is Cisco will not be concerned about the training events. Let's say you are a student and you are experiencing issues such as poor quality of training delivery or lab technical issues. You can't just send feedback and concern to Cisco. Some independent Cisco instructors are just individuals who upload their content online. Courses are available in training platforms like Udemy and social media platforms such as YouTube. There is also CCAI or Cisco Certified Academy Instructor. These are instructors who deliver training under Cisco Network Academy. Yes, they are affiliated with Cisco but this is a program for colleges and universities. Sometimes this is part of a curriculum if you are, let's say, taking an IT or computer related degree. This is designed for beginners. That is why the training courses are longer. Also, they have limited options of Cisco courses. Associate level courses are available such as CCNA and fundamental technologies such as IoT, cybersecurity, and Python. When I say limited courses, they don't offer other tracks. There is no CCNP security, data center, service provider, etc. Although they are affiliated with Cisco, courses are not designed for hardcore Cisco professionals. This is recommended if you're just starting with Cisco technologies and you have more time attending more training sessions. The environment is also more relaxed and less corporate. And then we have CCSI. It's Certified Cisco System Instructor. These are trainers who deliver Cisco authorized courses under Cisco Learning Partner or CLP. CLPs are affiliated with Cisco. Well, obviously, they are the preferred training organization by Cisco. How it works is Cisco develops the course content, 
like the slides and the lab guide and all of these materials are accessed and used by CCSIs around the world. CLP offers training from associate to expert level, various tracks such as security, data center, DevNet, and many more. Training delivery is fast-paced and is more of a corporate environment. CCSIs are more specialized in many different areas of Cisco technologies compared to CCAI. Here's a trivia. CCSI is the first Cisco certification. No, it's not CCNA. Actually, CCNA and CCNP both are created in 1998. CCIE is even older. CCIE is created in 1993. But CCSI is created prior CCIE. That is why CCSI is probably the very first IT certification, or at least the oldest. I will provide the link in the description if you want to know more about the history of CCSI. CCSIs are the Cisco brand ambassador for instructor-led program. And as a CCSI, we love all of the benefits and its prestige. Why become a CCSI? Well, there are plenty of advantages. First, you deliver official Cisco training materials, up-to-date resources, unlimited labs. If you have questions and issues, you can ask the CCSI community. If you really love learning, it's the best. Imagine, it's like having this library of Cisco technologies with continuous updates. Also, if there are upcoming technologies and courses, you will be invited to attend Cisco Course Alpha and TTT events. Unlike the gray market or the independent trainers, CCSIs and CLPs receive support from Cisco and CCSI Excellence Award. This is an instructor recognition for delivering top quality training. You will be awarded when you get a total average score of 4.8 or above from student evaluation. This award is per technology, so you will get an excellence award for data center, security, DevNet, and many more. As a CCSI, you will be contacted by CLPs. The better your record is and the more courses you can deliver, the more schedules and opportunities you will get. How to become a CCSI Unfortunately, you can't just take an exam like other Cisco certifications. It needs to be sponsored by a CLP. In short, they will be investing in you. Another requirement is a valid CCNA. You must pass the current version. So here's a little story back in 2011. Before I got my CCSI, I need to retake the current version of CCNA. It's a bit funny because at that time, I just passed CCIE like a couple of months ago, but passed CCNA like six years ago. So that was the old version. So I had to take CCNA after passing CCIE. You also need to attend this two-day ICP event. The first day, a day-long hands-on lab. Imagine, it's like CCIE lab, but CCNA level. You configure routers and switches. And I remember there were lots of IP addressing and subnetting related configuration. And the second day, it's all presentation. You have to present two modules from CCNA course material to the ICP proctors. One module of your choice and another module which is chosen randomly by the proctors. You have to pass both lab and presentation. The cost of attending ICP event is 1,000 US dollars. Once you pass the two-day ICP, you need to purchase an annual instructor kit membership. This costs 500 US dollars per year. And that's how you become a CCSI. How to maintain your CCSI. The requirement is very simple. First, you must keep the association of your CSCO to an active CLP. Yes, you would lose your CCSI if you associate your CSCO 
to another Cisco partner, which is not a CLP. You are also required to deliver a minimum of four classes per year. But if you are a course developer, you are only required to deliver courses twice a year. You are required to maintain a minimum of student evaluation score of 4.33. And again, you must purchase the instructor membership every year. So, how much is a CCSI making? First off, we have two types of CCSI. The full-time employee, their salary varies, but they probably make the same range of CCNP and CCIE network engineers. We're going to focus on CCSI contractors, where they have per day rates. So, how much are they getting? It still varies, but let me break it down so you would have an idea. Note that this is just my personal estimate based on experience and knowledge in this business. Also take note, these rates are based from North Americas, UK, and Australia. For small or local CLPs with less than 5 years of training experience and you're not yet well known, 500 to 700 US dollars per day. Not bad, right? But if you have over 5 years of training experience with good ratings, 700 to 900 US dollars range per day. For large and global CLPs, less than 5 years of training experience. Also 700 to 900 US dollars. Not bad again. But when you have over 5 years of training experience, 900 would be the starting. But it can go up to 4 figures. This can be 1K or 1.2K or even 1.5K per day rate. Think about it. Let's just say it's 1K per day. You will be getting 5K for 5-day training delivery. If you deliver 10-day training in a month, you would get 10K per month or 120K per year. Not only that, no escalations, no bossy boss, no HRs. You manage your own schedule. Less emails, less stress, and you would enjoy your weekend. So more time for yourself and family. Plus, a chance to travel the world. Not during pandemic though. But on top of all that, you will get more opportunities and connections. Most CCSIs I know, if they don't deliver training, they would provide consulting services. Some of them are book authors or have another business. So, do you want to be a CCSI?